Hello everybody and welcome back to Alex LA Golf and welcome to the channel. We've got Simon Dyson on, nine times European Tour winner, won around the world. Thanks for coming on the channel. Thank you, thanks for the invite. So, down here at Motcham, you've got your elite golf performance. Yeah. But we want to know <coughs> what you did when you won and when you were playing to make you play your best golf. So, your favourite drill? So, my favourite drill stems back from a good few years ago. It was when I used to have a lot of lateral movement in my swing. I used to sway quite a lot. Um, for me, balance is huge. You look at Rory McIlroy when he's playing at his prime, when he's playing in his, at his best. You know, as fast as he gets through that ball, he's always got the perfectly balanced finish. Um, so this was just one I used to work with my coach, Pete Cowan, with. And it's just a single leg drill. OK. You'd, it, uh, it doesn't involve hitting the ball very hard. It's just working on balance. And for me, it was good because I used to get into the ball a little bit too early, so I'd get a little bit trapped behind. So balancing just on my right leg uh, used to help me stay behind the ball, and it almost helped me, it helped me open up properly through the shot. Now, I think a lot of people actually think, well, that sounds quite, quite simple. <clears throat> I think a lot of people, when they watch golf, they think they are like, European Tour pros who work on quite complex things, when really you guys just want to make it as simple as you can do. Absolutely. I always, I always played my best golf when I had the feeling that I wanted to have, and this was one of the drills that gave me that feeling. It just used to... Uh, help me with my balance, just nice smooth takeaway, and then I just opened up nicely to it instead of early extending through it. So would you say that would form a little bit of your pre-shot routine as well, maybe? I don't Absolutely. Know. I used to stand behind the ball, one leg. That was my practice swing when I was doing the drill. Now, the other one, people who stay behind it and scoop a little bit, the left leg's the perfect one, because then it gets them rotating around yeah. their left side. So... I found from working with both that the right side was the one for Best me. For you. Yeah. So for anybody that's got lateral movement, this <coughs> is probably a really good drill. They really can do. good drill. Perfect. Let's see it. Let's hit three now and then hit one with kind okay. of a normal shot. Okay. So literally, just stand up to it. Get your nice balance. You can either lift your leg off the floor, lift your foot off the floor, or I just used to rest it there, but rest it on the on the ground. So your line is your foot is basically in line with the ball. Okay. Um, and then literally just used to i used to tee it up because it's a lot easier you you feel like you can uh, compress it a lot easier off a tee when you're starting and i literally just used to hit balls like that just sand wedge it's only gone what 90 100 yards so and just working on opening up correctly at the ball and my balance so would this form kind of if when you were on the range first thing say wednesday morning day, day before maybe pro-am would this be the first thing you'd do? Absolutely, absolutely. I tend to, when I was playing, I just tried to work on one thing to get, get me that feeling. Yeah. Some weeks it wouldn't feel as good as others. You know, it's there was some, to, isn't it? Exactly. I mean, some weeks, I, I remember playing, playing one of the Seve trophies, my, my first one I played, and Nick Faldo was captain. And I was doing this on the range. This was the drill I was using at the time. And he came up to me, he said, uh, what are you doing there? Just wanted to see my yeah. my response, so I told him what I was doing, and um, I told him I'd been working with Pete Cowan, and he looked at me and went, "That was my favourite drill when I was a pro." Interesting. So <laughs> if it's good enough for Nick, <laughs> I'm good a, enough. yeah, it's all right. Right, let's see another one. Right, okay. So nicely in line, nicely balanced. Just foot back here, just helping with that balance a little bit, and then just. Just opening up nice, bodies facing where, where the ball's so going. So would you, if everybody watching here, would you kind of say maybe two of these shots, then one kind of normal shot to try and translate that feeling over to there? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I don't, it's one of those, I don't feel you can overdo this drill. Okay. You know, it's not something where there's certain other drills, as soon as you get the club back in your hand, you think, oh, that feels really yeah. weird. This isn't one of those because everything's still the same. You're still facing the ball, your weight's, you know, still where you want it to be, and you're opening up correctly. So when you do get back there into your two, in, stood on both feet, hopefully you'll just do what you do kind of replicate. Yeah. I see one without this drill, and just okay. kind of to show people how we would kind of blend it over. Yeah. So I've been obviously trying to open up correctly. So I wouldn't hit, I'd hit it exactly how I'd hit it. We're off one foot, so. Nice. 
So I think to kind of moral the story here, this is a drill that gave you the best feeling to play your golf. Now, I'm not saying this could be the drill for everybody, but I think if we kind of went with the story, said if you're somebody with lateral movement, this would help. Yeah. But find a drill and stick with a drill that works for you. Stick with it. And it, it gave me the feeling that I wanted. So as soon as you start doing it, you'll know if it's, if right, it's giving you right the feedback you. that you want. Perfect. Thank you so much for coming on the channel. Thank you. So guys, thank you for watching today's video on Alex Elliott Golf. Don't forget to check out Simon on Instagram. His handle will be down below. And also, coming in the few months, we've got some content coming out together to help you improve your golf game off the course, on the course, on both Instagram and YouTube.